Wait a minute. This isn't right. This is more like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I am playing yellow <laughs> to see all the differences. So I can tell you guys. Um, probably the biggest difference is that these sprites look so <laughs> much better, more detailed. I already showed you where the Bulbasaur later would be. Alright, so uh, let's head up to... Well, first let's go here. I think this is a move deleter. Hold on, wait. Off. Oh, no. Each gym leader explains it when you get it. Alright, wait. Ooh, first try. Yeah, hidden item. Later in the game, you get an item finder if you catch enough kinds of Pokemon. And, uh, the item finder will, like, beep when other items are nearby. Yo, Dragon! You're still struggling along back here! I'm doing great! I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon! Here, let me see what you caught, Dragon! Oh, great, he has a Pidgeotto too. Oh, same exact level. Let's see. I think my Pidgeotto is just stronger in general. Yeah, critical hit. Critical hits totally negate status. Like, if someone, like, lowers your attack, if you get a critical hit, the critical hit hit goes from the level which your your attack normally is. Like, mine's 31. If my attack was, like, cut by, like, Growl, as soon as I got... This Abra just has teleport. As soon as I got a critical hit, like, it would critical from 31, which is, like, a 1.5 damage is a critical hit. Might be two. I don't think it's two. Abra's really fast. Evolves level 16. I think I'm going to be catching one to try something that I've never tried before, but I've seen it done. I'm in a... Oh, yeah. And I might end up catching a Rattata just as an HM slave. Because I'm going to need something that knows cut. Or I'll learn cut. Uh, this probably is a level at which it could have evolved. Yep, yeah, he could evolve level 16. But no. And Bulbasaur. If you start, alright. If you started with Bulbasaur, the first three gyms are pieces of cake for you. Rock, water, electric. All, all, all Bulbasaur's area of expertise. Okay, and then the fourth one. You don't really come to a gym that he's weak against until like the seventh. I can't really remember what the fifth is. Yeah, until like the seventh. Squirtle is kind of useless in this gym, which is water, Cerulean's gym, and he's weak at electric, and so is Pidgeotto. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do then. Whole team with Pidgeotto. God damn. God damn! Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous is a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on Payday. Since you're using his system, go. Thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. What would he do if, like, he was stuffed up? What would he say? Touch you later? That's my job. Luckily, if you have Charmander, he's weak against the first two gyms. Third gym, he's okay. And then, um, fourth gym, he's really good. Let's raise up some war. Let's some. Oh, wait. 
Jism's is on level 20. Yeah, whatever. Both of the, my Pokemon I have evolve level 36. If you had a Bulbasaur, that evolves level 32. Alright, Nugget Bridge. Bunch of weak trainers. Doing Doucher's voice really hurt my throat this time. I don't know if I'm doing it right anymore. <laughs> I'll figure that out. Hopefully I'll get this whole bridge in one part. I mean, look at this, Caterpie. It's five trainers and then someone, like, at the end. So it's really six trainers that you have to fight. Why a level 14 Caterpie? That's just stupid. God damn it. Yeah, in yellow, they have uh, Jesse, James, and Meowth and stuff. But they also have much better sprites. Not really back, but much better, like, sprites of opponents. Opposing Pokemon look so much better. One of the things I don't like about this emulator on Mac is that, god damn it. Yeah, of course. Is that there's only like one save state? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not going through that again. Yeah, go Jisms. Swargum the water gun the shite out of these people. Yeah, I put up part two and it's not been up it hasn't really been up that long. But I I watched it and I like I like it better without the the border, the game screen is actually better. And by the and uh in the last part or uh I don't know, something I recorded yesterday. I said uh, you could, if your stats are lowered, you could switch Pokemon out and then back, and your stats will be reset. I'm pretty sure about that, but also uh, it works for confusion. Like if you're confused, just switch the Pokemon out, switch it back in, and it'll be unconfused. Doesn't work with any other stats infliction, but confusion's not really considered a status infliction, I don't think, because it only lasts five turns. Status inflictions last until you heal. Oh, thank God it missed. Yes, 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 yes. Whirlwind, yeah. That just blows wild Pokemon away. It has no effect on trainer Pokemon in this one. In this generation, in like future generations. If you used Whirlwind or Roar, it has the same effect. On a trainer's Pokemon, it would just switch out that Pokemon for a different one on their team, which can sometimes be useful. Don't even think about it. See the third trainer or the fourth? Oh, damn it. Come on. Fast forwarding because I'm at nine minutes. I just want to get this guy in. The last guy that just appeared right before this battle started. Ooh, Mankey. Fighting type that I could have beat. This guy looks so weird. Like, the way he has his arms, it just looks like he has huge ears. And he has no arms. Right? Right? It looks like one of those, like, Fergie things. Oh my god, I died. I didn't even notice that. Well, fainted. It's like one of those like little furry things that you like would move. And uh yeah, whatever. Damn, Manky is fast. Like it would open and close its eyes and like talk, it had like a beak, it was furry, it was weird. <sighs> okay, well, you know what, that's good for this part. Next part we'll face this guy and I will <laughs> try and do 
the thing. I want to try. Yeah, that made sense. Sweet. All right. <laughs> I will uh, see you guys next time.